What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the WhoCraft server. Episode 9, I believe this one is already. Up to 9 already. So today, we are working on the little hallway here leading into our bat cave is what I'm calling it. Kind of like a man cave uh, slash uh, bat cave where we have a nice... Uh, let's go it's dark it's dark in here i'm scared of the dark please turn on the lights uh lights please why am i not able to walk there we go lights camera action okay so basically my thought process is this we build a nice modern you know this is kind of the start just a uh outline of things to come but my thought process is this. We build a nice modern house, and that that modern house is, is going to extend itself. This is going to be like the basement. It's going to extend itself to a nice large house up there. However, we, you know, we're the, we're the nice billionaires with the, the sweet house and everything else, but we have a secret side, a dark side. And that dark side leads us into our secret entrance and brings us... Dun, 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 to our cool cave of awesomeness and inside our cool cave of awesomeness we start with our afk fishing hole and then somewhere in this area is going to be our storage room right over here and then you come and you can go down the 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 stairs to our smelty smelting place of awesomeness with our enchanting tables and stuff like that so you know that's kind of the thought process behind what I'm, what I'm trying to get at. Is it gonna be cool at the end of the day? I don't know. I hope so. I hope it looks all right. I think it looks. I hope it looks awesome. However, you know I'm learning still on building and how to make things cool and neat and awesome and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna do the best I can and uh, go from there. The best I can is all I got. Um, however, I want to start today's episode off with a little bit of a. Uh, quote, and uh, this quote is by uh, one of my favorite, well actually this is my favorite quote of all times, and uh, basically it goes like this, I'm not judged by the number of times I fail, but by the number of times I succeed, and the number of times I succeed is in direct proportion to the number of times I can fail and keep trying. Um, you see, a lot of us, we have big plans, you know, uh, big ambitions, big goals, things of that nature. We want to do great things in our lives. We want to do things that nobody thought was possible. Those things where, where everyone laughs at you and says, ah, that's never going to happen. Um, you know, we want to accomplish those things. Even if, you know, you're one of the people that laugh at other people, you, at the end of the day, want to accomplish great things with your life. That's that's why you're here. That's why you do what you do. And, um, yeah, we're, I mean, we're put here to do amazing things. So that instinct is there. However, a lot of us get stuck into just a mediocre life, a life that we're not happy with, a life that we don't want to live Um and we just settle. We settle for we settle for it because we think that's all there is. We think that's all that that we're capable of. And the reason we think that is because it's been ingrained into us, you know, uh, since we were kids. You know, you you hear the word no, you can't. You you know, you're not good enough. You're not smart enough. You're not pretty enough. You're not handsome enough. All these things. However, I. I'm here to say that you are, um, but it takes action. And in order to get the things that you want in life, you have to take action on those things. Now, the thing about taking action, it's kind of a double edged sword here because um, as you take action, the more action you take, the more failures you will find. And, you know, this is me coming from uh, my life experiences as a, an old man because, you know, I'm old now, so I can give you these life experiences. But the fact of the matter is, is facts are facts, and the more you do, the more you, you will um, fail. However, the more you fail, the more you will succeed. I know it kind of sounds crazy, but it's actually the truth because the greatest teacher of all, the greatest thing to learn from is your failure. So as you do, as you um, try and fail, you learn from those failures, and those those failures then become stepping stones towards your success. So whatever that success may be uh, for you, if it's being a doctor, being a lawyer, uh, if it is um, 
being a YouTuber, if it is uh, creating your own business in the technology area, whatever that, that, that may be. If it is to be, it is up to me. And if you want to do it, you have to do it. You have to do it. No, one, no one's going to do it for you. That's the thing. Uh, a lot of people today uh, think that everything should just be handed to them. Oh, I wanted, I want to be on YouTube, so they, I should just have a million subscribers to start out with. And the people that have a million subscribers, guess how many they started with? I'll give you a hint. Zero. Uh, and they worked their way up, and you're going to have to do the same thing. So if it is to be, it is up to me. If you want to do it, you have to make it happen. In order for you to make it happen, you're going to sit, you're going to fail, Things are not going to go your way all the time, but that's when you need to learn to suck it up, drive on, and uh, keep moving forward with your goals and your dreams. So, you know, get out there, get going, and do it. That's my little rant, my positivity rant for the day. Um, Because, you know, it gets frustrating sometimes, especially, you know, you're putting together these YouTube videos. You want want things to work out, and the... uh, going is slow, um, to say the least. And, you know, you get frustrated and you think, you know, should I be doing this? Is this really the best use of my use of my time? However, if you have a goal, then yeah, it is the best use of your time. If you're learning from what you're doing, then yeah, it is the best use of your time. Can it be done? Yes, because you see plenty of examples that it can be done. So, uh, if you can do it, we might as well, if it can be done, then it's you holding you back. You know, that's the way you have to look at, at things, and that's the way I see it. If it can be done and I'm not doing it, then it's me that's holding me back. So what do I need to learn in order to move forward with this project and, and make it happen? What do I need to do better? And if you start looking at things that way, you, you'll start moving uh, at rapid paces towards what you want in your life. So for me... Uh, I want I want to uh, build a YouTube network, not only a YouTube channel, but an entire network of people and help people realize their dreams. That's you know just one of my goals and one of my dreams. I will accomplish that. Is it going to happen overnight? No. Is it going to happen? Yes, it will happen eventually. I just I just am going to keep plugging it away. I have a game plan, plan, a strategy, going to implement that strategy and game plan and make things happen. Um, and one of, one of my strategies and what I want to do not only is have a YouTube network, however, that's one of it, but I want that, that business to fund what I really want to do in life. And that is going around and speaking to, uh, young adults, uh, and probably teenagers about, uh, depression and overcoming depression and things of that nature, because, uh, that is something I have dealt with. Um, horribly in my life and uh, dealing with battling battling and overcoming depression. And the thing about me is I'm not going to let depression depression win. It, it hurts. It's a real thing. And if you've ever suffered from depression, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and I want to help those people out there that are going through it because not only uh, I know firsthand, well, not only I know firsthand, so I know what you're going through and uh, I can help I can help you. I'm not a doctor or anything like that. However, I beat it every single day. I overcome every single day. So I know it can be done. You just need to learn how to do it. And I want to help people do that. So that is, that is why I do what I do. That is why I do this is at the end of the day, I want to help more and more people. Plus I love video games and I would love to build a business around video games. And, uh, that's one of my goals. Uh, and that way I can, go out and speak and talk and not have to worry about charging for it or money or things like that. Just do it because I can, uh, you know, it's the ultimate goal and everything. So yeah, just building this wall here and I want to maintain this, you know, rugged, rugged look. I, I should grab some mossy cobblestone and get it put in there. However, I don't know if I have any right off hand, so I'm just going to continue with what I'm doing here and placing random blocks and all that good stuff. And hopefully it looks okay. I'm sure if it looks like garbage, you will tell me. But like I said, I don't care. You can hate on me all you want. Haters gonna hate. I'm out here having a good time trying to record these Let's Plays and uh, build a business. So I'm I'm thinking about starting up a uh, video log on the process of actually building a business. Um, where I just record videos every day on what I'm doing and how I'm doing it to build and move this business forward. I have a couple ideas. I'm not gonna, 
I'm not going to uh, release everything I'm doing or what I have in the works um, until it's implemented. And then once it's implemented, you will know about it. But uh, so you're not going to get everything right up front. There's going to be some things that crap. There's going to be some things that you don't know of until you know of <laughs> them, <laughs> if that makes sense. It's uh, going to be one of those things where I am have a lot up, up the sleeve, a lot in the works, and you will know about it when you know about it. So I'm hoping to get a couple uh, a couple people together to make some amazing things for you guys. However, I can't talk about it or who it is or when that will happen, but when it does happen, it will happen, <laughs> and you will know about it. So that is that. I don't know. What do you think? It's looking non non pattern ish, I hope. That's the goal is to make it look like it's not in a pattern. So all right, I'm gonna continue to work on this and once these walls are done we'll come we'll check back in. You can see it and peep the progress. I like this I like this little I don't I don't know why I like this, but I, I made a little water uh walkway here with the glass over top of it. I just thought that was cool. I'm hoping squids, I made it two or three deep. I can't remember, two or three deep. So I'm hoping squids will, will uh, spawn underneath there and we'll be walking over top of squids. That would be my ideal thought or, or goal with it. But anyway, see you in the next clip. So I pretty much have the uh, hallway here finished. What do you think, what do you think? Not too shabby, not too shabby. I don't know. I like the way it looks. Whatever. Works out for me, which comes down into here. Right now we got some glass smelting on up. Smelting on up. Smelting on up. Did the uh, roof here. Need to add some lighting. Probably need to hit that out there. That's probably where the lighting is going to go is right there. Uh, but anyway, I want to show you something down at the end, which is kind of cool, kind of cool. Now, if there's a guest in here, I can finally kill him. Whoa, look at all those pigmen. Zombie pigmen. Hello. Hello, zombie pigmen. All right, uh, I need to eat. I need to eat. Give me some food. Give me, give me some food. G give me some food. Give me, give me some food. Yummy, 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 yummy. Yum. I am a eat meat eater. No more vegetarian stuff for me. I'm going straight protein, baby. Got to build those muscles. It's getting kind of frail and weak looking. Starting to look like a hippie. I was eating too many carrots. Skin was getting orange and all that other kind of stuff. Okay, through the magical power of editing. I think you guys are going to like this. It is pretty sweet. Ah, look, as soon as you uh, uh, come in, this water flow... Takes you down, 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 down to the ground. Mm -mm -mm, down, down, down. Okay. Woo. And this takes you to the end, which the end is done. However, this is what I wanted to show you. And we got some cool stuff here. Um, I think, man, I don't want to mess this up. I messed it up last time. I think you right click to go up this ladder. Yes, right click. You right click and bam, that takes us all the way up. And then I got, I think you got a shift click. Okay, no, just shift, bam, and it pushes you over here. That's cool. Pretty neat, right? Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. Make it hurt, drill sergeant. Make it hurt. Hey, what? So, the end. Let's look. At, let's look back here. See if everything's finished. The floor is the floor finished over here. No, nope, floor is not finished over here. Ooh. Did he put down... Did they finish the... Maybe. I think they did. I think they did. Whoa, Enderman over there. What is this Enderman doing over here? So this redstone, I believe, is the... Ender Pearl Overflow. So that you don't pick up a bunch of ender pearls, I am thinking. Let's see, am I picking up a bunch of ender pearls? I'm kind of picking up a bunch of ender pearls. 
No, not really. Not really. So that's probably the uh, Ender Pearl overflow that he's working on over there. I have no clue how it works, so I couldn't even begin to tell you what's going on. But I'm not going to look at this Enderman. But there's an Enderman stuck in there. He's like, oh, I'm mad. He's not mad. He is not aggravated. So, yeah. Here we have, here's my chest. It is over here somewhere. Dreams, D2F locker, cup how, thorns, punch. What do, do I have anything good? Oh, efficiency three, power four, aqua affinity, and respiration three. I liked those, so I kept them separated. I think I looked at that guy. Could have possibly aggravated him. What is this? Iron anvils, iron and anvils, books donated by Mike. Gotcha. I see, I see. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, so that's what the uh the end looks like now. This oh well let me show you how to how to uh how you get out. It looks pretty sweet. Alright, so you hold this and we're going up the elevator, up the elevator. Ah yeah, we got an elevator. Shift click bow, spit you out over here. You're good to go. And then you got to come over here and go up this ladder right here. And this is going to take us to the little exit. So let's go in here. Oh, kapow. Look at this. Man, good job, son. Son hooked this up. I like this, this little look here. It's fantastic. Fantastico. Oh, yeah. And you don't stop. Then we're going to hit exit. And that takes us back to our bed. We are here where we belong. And edit. Ah, uh, nom, 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 nom. Meat eater. Uh, there's been a lot of work done at spawn too. Ooh, that's different. Lots of work done at spawn. I like these trees. They do a good job with these trees. So... Lots of little shops built over here. I need to build myself a shop. This is our little, uh, what is, ooh. News board. Do not leave villager breeders on and undetended. Do not use wooden doors within 300 blocks of spawn. See the boards for more details. Okay, got it. Check. Check, check, check. Okay, first little shop we come to here. There's a financial district somewhere, too. I don't know where that is yet. Cal's fishing permitting and stuff. You can uh, place one iron ingot in. Spits out a, a bow, and you can go fishing. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool little trap he has. Do I have an iron ingot on me? I do not. I would show you how it works if I did. But I don't. This is uh, J-Dub's slightly used emporium station. Which this, I spent quite a few diamonds here getting books. Uh, however, I can now get my own books. So, no need to do that anymore. See, I was wondering. Uh, ooh, look at that wither head. Look at you. So pretty. How many? No, he doesn't have any over there. Uh, does he? What's this? No. I was wondering how he was getting these books now. I know he was getting them from uh, AFK Fishing. So, yeah. And then that's a pretty nice build right there. That's pretty sweet looking. Oh, uh, what's over here? Oh, I think Mike is uh, house is over here somewhere. Uh, his house used to be over there. Let's see. Yep, there's Mike's house. Mike who from the WhoCraft server. Jigga who, jigga what? Why did Admin cross the road, chicken? <laughs> That's funny. I don't know what's so funny about it, but it made me laugh. Nice roads. B-dub style roads right here. I like it. Oh, the wife is calling me. Show. Ooh, look, he has a donkey. Hello, donkey. I need to go find uh, a horsey. I think that might be my next, my next little thing here. Ooh, look, this dock has some holes in it. Hmm. It's a, it's a used dock. This dock has some issues. That's pretty cool. I like it. 
Good call. Whoever's house this is. Who is this? Forte. Good call. Good call. Ooh, got the hiccups. Got the hiccups. Nice little place here. Ooh, with your little... Look at that. How cute. Cute and quaint, that is. All right, guys. Hey, listen. This has been your episode of the Who Craft server, baby. Jigga who, jigga what? This is Dreams to Freedom. If you had fun. Ooh, nice tree. I'm like a dog. <laughs> I have no attention span. If you had fun, if you like it, if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button, smash the like button, and tell all your friends. If you don't like it, hit the subscribe button anyway because, you know, you'll, you'll end up liking it eventually. You will. I have faith. I have faith. So thanks. Have a fantastic day. Hopefully I'll see you on the Minecraft beaches of the world. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Peace. And I'm out of here, yo.